So in this uh, video, I'd like to give a quick overview of the question bank that you have in your course environment and uh, go through some of the different options there and look at some of the different question types that we can use for Moodle quizzes. It is possible to attach questions directly to a quiz activity, but I actually recommend using the course question bank to upload your uh, or create your questions and then set up the quiz activity and then add questions to the quiz. So under the course administration block, if you look here under question bank, you can click on the little triangle to expand the different options. I'm going to go into categories first. I would recommend that you use categories to organize the questions uh, so that you can easily attach them to specific uh, quizzes. So, for example, I could create a new category here called um, Unit 1 Quiz Questions. And that will be in, under the default for my course. I'll add that category. And now I've got a category where I can put questions that I'll be using on that quiz. Currently there are zero questions. So um, also in the question bank, um, there, is, there are options for importing questions that we'll look at um, separately. You can export just the questions um, and um, you know, you reuse them in a different Moodle course. If you go into the questions itself, um, this is a, where you could actually create questions uh, directly in Moodle, uh, which is uh, an approach I don't normally use, but it allows you to use all of the different range of questions and use all of the different options. So if I select that Unit 1 Quiz Questions category, you'll see that there are no questions. And so you could theoretically in Moodle just click Create a New Question. Here are all the different types of question types that we have available. So there are multiple choice questions, matching questions, there are true, false, short answer, um, essay questions. You can use essay questions, but of course Moodle can't uh, automatically grade those. If you use multiple choice and even short answer, true, false, you can have uh, Moodle provide immediate feedback when the students take the quiz. You can have numeric and calculated questions if you want to do problems and so forth. And we have some new question types now where you can drag and drop markers or text or labels onto images to have um, you know, those kinds of questions. And one thing that we've added specially um, from the Moodle repository is a music theory question type that allows the um, asking of a whole variety of different um, music theory kinds of questions. So if I were going to create a multiple choice question, for example, I could select multiple choice, click add, and you can just then use this editor to build up the question. So, um, yeah. Question one. Here's the uh, question. It's by default worth one point. You can provide general feedback. You can allow students to select multiple answers or one answer only. One answer only is you know the kind of traditional multiple choice question. Uh, the default is to shuffle the uh, choices. Every time the student would view this question, the, the choices would be in um, different order. And so we just then um, add the text for the different choices. So choice one, I'm not going to be very, uh, very thoughtful here. Choice two. Three, choice four, and so that would be how you would set up a four item multiple choice question. You've got the, the question text here, 
and then you've got the different options and then you can tell Moodle how much uh, so let's say choice two is the correct answer we'd give that uh, answer 100 percent you could you know give partial credit so if choice three is not totally wrong you could give 25 percent of that one point to any student who selects that you can when you're creating the questions in Moodle provide specific feedback so you know if there's a particular reason why choice one is wrong uh, you know you should say I yeah, think about, uh, about this blah, 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 blah. and so by building the questions in Moodle you have the option to provide very um, extensive feedback um, to the students as they are taking uh, the test. So I can click Save Changes and then that would create that multiple choice question. If I just go and say um, add a short answer question again you would uh, give it some kind of name that is uh, an identifier that will allow you to select that question to put on to the quiz and here's the question again you know, who is buried in Grant's tomb or whatever and then um, you can provide a variety of text um, answers that um, can be matched automatically by Moodle. Uh, so if this is, you know, what direction does uh, the sun rise? Um, you could say east and give them 100%. Um, and then for, uh, if you want to have Moodle uh, grade a short answer question, you have to be kind of thoughtful about what kinds of appropriate short answers might the students uh, submit and try to um, you know, list those so that Moodle can provide the appropriate um, credit for uh, the student. I just want to uh, quickly add another new question here just to highlight this music theory question. The music theory question actually um, provides itself a whole variety of question types. So uh, you can ask, um, you can give students notes and ask them to write them onto a staff. You can do um, intervals, scales, all sorts of uh, you know different kinds of music theory kinds of questions. You can set these up so that Moodle will draw upon a random uh, set of uh, you know inputs for the question, so that um, you could have a random note, note writing question, and each time. This, a student gets that question on a quiz, you know, it may identify a different note and ask the student to, um, to write that, to, to show where that note would be written on the staff. You know, it could be a B flat on, on one question, the same question could, uh, could uh, do a, a D note, a D note the, you know, some other time. So, um, you know, it's worth exploring the kinds of questions that are available to you if you create your questions in Moodle. And as a practical standpoint, I mostly use multiple choice questions for doing basic uh, comprehension over the reading resources. And so I will actually write my multiple choice questions in Word, save them as a Word, as a text file, and then use the import function to bring those multiple choice questions into the uh, quiz bank category and we'll look at that uh, shortly.